Welcome guys in Mectrotip. In this video we are going to talk about theories of failure in machine design. There are basically five theories of failure which are number one maximum principle stress theory number two maximum shear stress theory number three maximum principle strain theory number four maximum distortion energy theory number five which is last one maximum total strain energy theory in this video we are going to talk about first two theories in great detail so let us start with maximum principle stress theory according to maximum principle stress theory failure of a component takes place if maximum principle stress maximum principle stress at any point exceeds the value of stress at elastic limit in simple tension exceeds the value of elastic limit which is nothing but yield strength don't get confused between yield strength and tensile strength in this diagram stress strain diagram which we draw like this tensile strength is here which is ultimate strength and yield strength is here we are talking about yield strength so maximum principal stress is equal to syt which is yield strength and for safety purpose what we do is we divide yield strength by factor of safety and using this formula we calculate permissible stress value and in this way we determine the dimensions of component maximum principal stress theory is used in case of brittle materials you may think why it is used for brittle materials the reason is ultimate strength in brittle materials is the least in tension and it is higher in shear and it is again higher in compression it is highest in compression so this shows that brittle material is you know not safe in tension it is a fear of tensile failure if you make the brittle material safe in tension you are automatically making it safe in all these three regions you know so that's the reason maximum principle stress theory is used for brittle materials next theory which we are going to focus on is maximum shear stress theory according to this theory failure of a component takes place when maximum shearing stress maximum shearing stress <laughs> in it reaches the value of shearing stress at elastic limit which is the value of shearing stress at elastic limit in uniaxial tensile test <clears throat> and this you know shearing stress at elastic limit is also equal to half of yield strength so this is the equation and again for safety we divide it by a factor of safety so using this equation we determine permissible shear stress 
and on this basis we calculate the dimensions. This theory is this theory gives better results in case of ductile materials. The reason being yield strength in ductile material is the least in shear failure and it is higher in tension and it is highest in compression. So you have fear of shear failure. So however if you make your ductile materials safe in shear failure, you are automatically making safe in all these three regions. So using this theory you can do that. That is the reason maximum shear stress theory is used in ductile materials. Hope this video was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.